evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Pam Bailey. I'm the Director of Economic Development for Bedford County. And today, we are our Bedford One career conversation is with Scott Gillespie. He is the Divisional Equipment Engineer, or a Divisional Equipment Engineer, for uh, Abbott Labs. So I will hand it over to Scott at this point. Okay. Thanks, Pam. I just want to take a quick minute to just thank everybody for letting me uh, present today and kind of go over uh, some career paths and my career path over the last uh, 30 years. But um, just wanted to dive into this is that um, myself and Pam and everybody that's uh, sitting around you today were was, was 17 and 18 at some point. It seemed like a long time ago, but it, there was. And we, we had the same concerns that you all had, but I had no clue what I was going to do for a living. And I was thinking about going to the football game on Friday night or the basketball game that that was kind of my my thoughts and um as trish and taylor are working with you on your you know career paths it's important that you take interest in that as well because it's going to really help you find the avenue that you may want to go down and know what you don't like and what you like you need to understand both of those as you go through these exercises with them so just want to let you know we've all been where you are and we just want to share some stories of how we got where we are, right, wrong, it may not fit your path, but there's multiple paths that you can take throughout your life to give you uh, the satisfaction of a career that you want. Um, I was very fortunate to start with Abbott very young. I actually started in Abbott as temporary uh, worker, working third shift, and I was going to college to be a police officer at CVCC, Administration of Justice. So I was working full time and going to school full time. And during that transition, I was offered a job within Abbott to start. Well, I'm 19 years old, right? So I'm just, I wanted to make some money. I didn't understand that college and four year degree wasn't my path. I didn't like high school. I didn't like going to class. I didn't like going through a whole lot of those things. So I knew that education was not the route. Hands-on experiences, working with things, working through problems. That's what interested me. I wanted to be, you know, involved in the day-to-day -day activities, not sitting in a, in a room listening or reading through a book to tell me experiences and I wanted to just live them. So that, you know, that's kind of where I got started out. I knew that at the age that I was at. So, um, you know, starting out with Abbott, getting my feet wet, understanding what they did was, was uh, all new to me at that time. You gotta understand that I lived in Alta Vista my whole life. I knew what Abbott did when I went to work down there. I never understood what they made, never knew what they offered, what the benefits were, nothing. I just started there. And that's some things that I think Trish and Taylor are gonna work with you. And as part of my job is to explain to you what these communities, what these employers can provide to you as a career so that you understand that. You understand it's more than just sitting in a piece of equipment, running it nine to five, that ain't the way it works. It's a lot of other things that are involved in manufacturing uh, and any other technical skills that you would have to have. So, you know, the biggest takeaway for, that I would have for you guys today is you wanna understand what jobs are available in your community, in your county, in your region. Do they interest you? You know, it's not just sitting here working, uh, doing one thing all the time. You can change career paths, within an organization. This is how, this is what I've done in Abbott over my career. I started out inspecting caps, looking for a gasket uh, inside the cap, putting it from one box to another. It was 2,200 caps in the box. I did it on third shift. It was tough to stay awake, but that's all I did. And then I moved into a, another role where I got to go into um, leadership to be a crew leader. I've worked in maintenance as a mechanic. Um, I've been a mechanical trainer I've been in, um, a, a technical trainer. I've worked in training department. Um, I've led almost all the lines in a, in a crew leader role. And now uh, I went to be a, um, a maintenance planner. Where else have I done? I've done um, a reliability engineer, which is equipment reliability engineer. And then back in 2015, I moved to divisional engineering where I was able to um, work with building contracts and building equipment with vendors creating the equipment, working with him to design it, how we want to run it within our organization. So 
We have seven sites in Europe and Asia. I've been able to travel all over the world, uh, see a lot of things. And uh, I always say the area that we live in and the, and the region that we live in is the best in the world. I've been all over the place and uh, where we live is a great place to raise a family. It's safe. Um, the wages are, that, that are paid are very good. The cost of living is very low. So, you know, you can go off to California, like I hear everybody say, I want to go to California. Okay, but uh, you get paid a lot, but it costs a lot to live out there too. So <laughs> cost of living is very high. But, uh, you know, just explaining to you the different roles that I've had within my career, you're talking about just an add that you can be a chemist, you can work in the powerhouse with boilers, of anybody who wants to go into the Navy, that's what's on a Navy ship, right? Boilers, that's the stuff that you're going to work with. That's what's going to give you the energy to the, to the facility uh, and the utilities. You can be in maintenance. You can be an electrician. You can be an engineer. You can be in management. There's a ton of different avenues other than, or if you want to just run a piece of equipment, you can just be an equipment operator. Same thing the way I started out. But then my interest changed over the years and I wanted to go into this part of the business and this part of the business. So you, you grow as you mature and as you see what you want to do and what you don't want to do and you pick those paths and it moves forward. Um, benefits within a company. I think it's important to understand benefits. Do you want to work the rest of your life or do you want to take advantage of some benefits and some 401k and be able to retire one day? That's some things you need to take in consideration. A lot of people that I meet, they chase a dollar. They want to go somewhere and make the most money that they can and go somewhere else and make more money and go somewhere. So the longevity and the commitment is not there. They're just going to chase the dollar. And that's fine. That, but you better be very uh, secure in how you finance your money and how you save money because you don't have to do that on your own. If you're working with a company that's allowing you benefits, that company can put those benefits and take them out of your check and manage your money a whole lot easier with a 401k plan. Because I can promise you, if you get the money, you're more likely to spend the money. So getting it and putting it in a 401k or saving your money, especially when you're talking to someone who's 18 or 20 years old, saving money ain't, a, ain't an option at that point, right? It's, I want this right now, I want that right now. But you, you're talking about working for 35 to 40 years. You want to be able to retire and be able to live the rest of your life financially to cover where you, you've saved all that money. So understanding your company's benefits, you know, even within Abbott, we have profit sharing. Uh, I receive 7% bonus every year, right? So 7% of my annual income, I get a check for. I mean, that's great. Um, uh, vacation. I've been with the company at 30 years. I get seven weeks of vacation. You, you start off at three, three weeks uh, it, within Abbott. Um, I get a pension. So when I turn 50, I'm eligible for a pension. Uh, I've been with Abbott for 30 years. That means I'm going to take full advantage of all the pension and the 401 benefits that they get because I've been here a long time. There's a lot of folks who work five years and jump to another company. They're not they're not there long enough and the longevity is not there for them to gain the benefits that the company has for them. So, you know, uh, my 401k, I can put in 18% and they match 18%. That's a lot. That's a lot of money that you can be putting away to save. So uh, I'm 49. I'll be uh, retiring at 55. I'll have 35 years of service in and I will be uh, fully vested with the company. But that's how you get there is starting and staying. I didn't stay in the same job. I just stayed with the same company. So I live in Alta Vista, but I work all over the country. And uh, my, my base is in, in Columbus, Ohio, right? So that's, my, that's where my bosses are. I'm actually in Columbus this week. So, uh, but I, like I said, I started off sitting in a seat looking at a cap that had a gasket in. And that's just the process that you just have to go through. So um, I know I'm running close on time. I don't know what time we actually started, Pam, but uh, I just wanted to say that the technical skills and technical training is a great career path, especially if you're in, gonna stay in this region. Manufacturing jobs are not just manufacturing jobs. You're involved in a lot of other aspects of the business. 
and, and being technical minded, there's not a lot of folks who want to go in, into technical trades. You know, we've got a lot of the baby boomers that are retiring out now, and we have a lot of openings and there's a lot of job opportunities for technical skills. And is it sitting behind a computer punching in code? Not always, but that, that's a different place, right? Everybody wants to do that. We've got a ton of those jobs and a ton of those are getting filled, but you've got folks going to college to fill those jobs. We need folks who can put hands on right now, get in, get a certificate, move forward. You know, within Abbott, they'll pay for my school. So I don't even have to pay for it. So I can, I can go to class and go to school. They'll work around my schedule if I need to go on, on uh, campus for class, or I can take all my classes online, but I'm reimbursed all of that money. So I didn't have to pay any of the money up front for my education. The company will pay that. So those are the benefits you want to be looking at is what, why are you going to have to sacrifice that or your parents have to sacrifice that money if you can get employed somewhere and they take care of that and pay you while you're going to school. So it's a win-win situation. So um, those that may not be familiar with Virginia Technical Institute that's in Alta Vista and the Central Virginia Workforce Development Board, uh, I've, I've served on both of those boards and I'm very passionate about explaining to students the opportunities that they have uh, in, in a technical trade or getting in a technical field. Number one, you're in high demand for jobs right now. Number two, overtime is crazy, right? So you're gonna make plenty of money. Uh, when I say plenty of money, you're starting out working anything from 40 to $60,000 and you put in your overtime, you're talking about making roughly $80,000 a year. So, and that's just with a certificate. So there's a lot of opportunities in there that pay great uh, benefits and great uh, salaries. Um, but hey Scott, do we want to see if we've got any, does anybody have any questions that they want to ask at this point? I was going to ask if um, you would share just a little bit more specifically about what Abbott does, because I think some of the students might be interested. Okay, yeah, so Abbott is actually uh, medical nutritionals, uh, pediatrics and medical nutritionals, which we make um, Isomil, Similac, uh, uh, Pedialyte, that's a big, you've been seeing some commercials out on TV, we have a big Pedialyte project and a big drive to uh, increase our Pedialyte volume. That's the reason you're starting to see these commercials come out. I'm actually leading a lot of those projects for Pedialyte. Uh, Pedialyte is only made in Alpha Vista. That is the only site that makes Pedialyte uh, worldwide and we distribute that out to the world. So that's big because it's just home, it's close to everybody here. But uh, Insure, if you see the commercials with the uh, little cup Insure talking to the banana and corn dog in the refrigerator, uh, those commercials there. Um, we also do a lot of cancer patient um, uh, IV fluid. Uh, we do Jevity, uh, especially folks who can't eat anymore or they're, they're not getting the right diet. And we can put them on Jevity, Glucerna, Pulmacare. We do a lot of diabetic um, uh, products as well. So uh, that's just one part of Abbott's business is, is uh, medical nutritionals. Uh, we make the COVID-19 test kits. Um, there's a whole diagnostics division uh, that's part of Abbott. So once you come into Abbott, just as you see that I've done, you can go into different avenues and get into different divisions and travel to it. You want to live in Chicago? We got we got sites in uh, Fairfield, California. You know, they're all over the place and make different types of products. We make protein bars. Uh, there's a whole another site that we have in Fairfield, California that does that. So a lot of project, a lot of products, and I would imagine someone in your family has had our products sometime during their life, guaranteed. That's great, thank you for sharing. So if somebody was interested in applying or seeing what positions you have open, do they just go to your website? Abbott.com, you can go through all the website uh, information, job openings. It'll also show you all the job openings within the world. So if you wanna go, like I said, we got seven sites in Europe and Asia. It'll tell you, it, you can drill it down to the site specific. So that's awesome. You guys have a lot, there's such a wide variety. And I think that's just, you know, that's just it. You can have everything from, a, like you said, a cap inspector to a chemist, to an engineer and everything in marketing, um, finance, you know, any kind of administrative job. Um, there's just a, a wide variety whenever you have a, a company the size of Abbott. How many employees does Abbott have in Alta Vista and worldwide? Alta Vista is a, right around 500, but uh, worldwide it's 14,000. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a big company. So that means a lot of opportunities for sure. Yeah. Does anybody else have any questions? I've got 10 students who've submitted their survey so far. So if anybody else is going to get in there, you better hurry because we're going to do the drawing at the, the in just a moment. Okay. I would just like to emphasize that, you know, there's no amount of education that beats hard work and commitment. And whatever you're going to go into in your life, you, you've got to have, have a hard work ethic. Uh, you need to be able to outwork everything. I used to tell my kids, there's a lot of people smarter than you and there's a lot of people got more talent than you, but never let anybody outwork you. And that's what you can control. So put the effort in, put the time in, it does pay off. Wise words, absolutely. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> and that is a truth. So I've heard people say that from other people in other industries, just, you know, ever want anybody to outwork you. Does anybody else have anything? If not, I'd like to thank you so much for your time today, Scott. It's just, it's been great to hear from you and kind of reinforce some of those things. And again, if, if anyone uh, wants to apply to Abbott, there are jobs available at abbott.com, I think you said. Yep, um, abbott.com. Yeah, check that out. And if anybody has, has any other specific questions, feel free. Um, Taylor and Trish know how to reach me and, and uh, we, can, we can go that route as well. Yep. Thanks so much for the opportunity to speak today. Thank you.